Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 20th of July. I'm James Spann. You know the story. It's going to be hot and muggy with scattered storms about. Storms probably a little more active tomorrow and Wednesday. And the tropics are getting to be a little interesting. So let's talk about things. There's the upper look ridging all across the deep south. To the south, we have the tropical mischief. That'll keep the tropical disturbances to the south. And north of the heat ridge, we've got the jet stream, the mid-latitude westerlies, keeping the main rain producers north of the state. There's the visible satellite view this afternoon. You can see it's partly to mostly sunny with a few pockets of convection. That was the radar composite around 1 o'clock. And at that point, we had random scattered storms. And we'll see those around through the evening hours. Temperatures mostly low 90s at 115. We'll expect mid 90s before the day is over. There's the watch warning map. Heat advisories for the upper half of the Atlantic coast. That would include places like Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, and Boston. The rest of the country is quiet. Maybe some strong storms north of Alabama in a zone from the Great Plains over to the middle Atlantic coast region. Tomorrow, a marginal risk in that same general area. And on day three, which is Wednesday, the marginal risk well to the north and east of here. But we're solidly in the green. That means we'll have scattered storms about, but organized severe weather not expected. Rain for the next seven days. The west is dry for Alabama average amounts. The key word here is average. Your number could be higher or lower, about a half inch over the next seven days. In the tropics, we have three disturbances on the board now. None of them expected to develop. Uh, we've got one in the deep tropics, a low-latitude system about halfway between the Windward Islands and the coast of Africa, a tropical wave that's over Cuba, and this wave that is over the northwestern Gulf of Mexico that will be drifting into the upper Texas coast, hopefully bringing them some beneficial rain in the short term, but it really doesn't have much time to develop. Here's the five-day outlook, and again, you can see, again, just under a 40% chance of all of these developing. Uh, the one perhaps of most interest, of course, is the one that's over Cuba. The uh, European Ensemble giving that a better than 50-50 chance of becoming a tropical depression by the end of this week. But again, that's moving or over toward Texas underneath the heat ridge and probably will not affect Alabama. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 4. Pretty good wave coming across the upper Midwest. Ridging here and moisture could be a little deeper, so... Again, we'll see scattered showers and storms, mainly tomorrow afternoon. Partly sunny, highs low to mid-90s. Same thing Wednesday. Again, the moisture level's a bit deeper, so showers and storms probably increasing in number, but it's still not going to rain everywhere. Highs, I'd say low 90s. And then Thursday and Friday, your typical hot, muggy summer weather. Partly sunny with a few pop-up storms. That's the theme for the weekend. This is Saturday and this is Sunday. Highs stay in the 90s. And a week from today, Monday at 27th, still got the ridge in place, and it's the same old story. Partly sunny with scattered, mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. Let's go out 10 days, Thursday of next week, July 30th, almost two-thirds of the way through meteorological summer. Heat ridge over much of the country, and again, hot and muggy, maybe a storm in spots. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble, the mean between 2 and 3 inches between now and early August, some of the members in excess of four inches, and heat levels, highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s right on through the rest of this month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, if you can't catch us this evening, on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.